welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Schaefer D. We're on episode 11, and in this episode, we're going to be expanding our chicken coop and potentially leasing a forage wagon to sort this out, the straw swath. So, hopefully, this unit can take straw. So first things, I need to slow down time a bit, just so that we can quickly... We don't have any other units yet. Construction. I want to just see... This unit. It does not show if it can or not. So what we'll do is, I want to expand this, so let's get to it. There's no time like the current, so we just do it. Let's go to animals. Scoot over to chickens. I need another. <laughs> now, where do we put this? I was thinking of maybe here. That means I'll have to cut down the two trees in front of our house. Is that lined up? I just will need to make sure it does look like it. Yeah. O overlaps with another object. There's a very fine line. Where is that fine line? There. <laughs> Looks like it's in the right place. Yeah, let's bomb it. Boom. There we go. Two chicken coops. It's more or less straight. Doesn't have to be 100%. So here's the one filling area. Here's the next. I need to do a bit of landscaping around here. Obviously. Get these three sorted out. To get to be able to get into there. For now it can stay. I'm not going to do the landscaping now. I think. How much is it? Let's first see. Painting. Mine is asphalt. So we're going to go a little bit bigger. Oh, crikey. It mustn't charge me an arm and a leg just to get this done. And 11,000. So we'll have to remove this just to make it look neat up to there. Yeah, it's not too pricey. It's pricey, but it's not that pricey. I thought it's going to be worse. Ten thousand. Okay. So what will have to happen here now is. I will, I'm going to extend this up to there, right, up to there, yeah, okay, so, we've cleaned that up, it's both cleaned up properly, that one needs a bit of cleaning here, okay, that looks good, right round looks good, I like that. So I'll have to lease a... Animal trailer. Sorry, I got lost for words there. Got nothing hooked up onto the back of this. So let's get this done. Let's fill up both these enclosures. Or chicken pens, not enclosures. So I've got two, two chicken pens running and we've got three greenhouses. What's wrong today with I keep forgetting everything? I want to talk and then 
It just slips my mind and I don't pay attention to what I'm saying. Okay, so we'll fill it up with wheat for now. You can hear my dog in the background. And the airplane whizzing past. So that will be enough space for me to come through here to fill up. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I mean, it's not like we fill up every second. This does take quite a while to drop that down. Then half of the chickens in that one I'm going to transfer over to this one. So then we'll be sorted. Deliver that in there. I just need a nice screenshot of this. Yeah, that looks good. That took everything that was in there. Yeah, those trees must go. So that makes for a nice drive through here. Just to fill that up again. I want to make sure that it's full. And then we'll quickly lease an animal transport wagon. So that we can transfer half of the chickens that's in here to that one. I was hoping we can do it without having a transport wagon. Maybe we can. We'll have a look at it now fill up the wheat here. The rest of the wheat remaining in this trailer we're gonna put it back into our storage. That shouldn't take the whole trailer, it should go up like 50 or oh, 62. Not too bad. Now our money situation is a bit dire at the moment but I want to see maybe you can move the animals between two pens. Um, I've never tried it before. Otherwise we will just lease the unit, move the chickens over and... Oh. Sorry for that. Okay, let's leave this tractor here in case we need to go to town with it quick. Hello chickens, I want to see if I can move all of you over. So, this is, let's go here, this is our newish chickens. Just select that, okay we can't move it over, we can just sell. Okay, so let's look at animal transport here quickly, what specials today, nothing new yet. Animal transport. How many chickens can that hold? No chickens. No chickens. Why can't we move chickens? Maybe it's the first, that one. No, that's for horses. Are you being serious? We can't transfer chickens. Okay, there goes my plan down the drain. Animals. No. Nothing. Nothing but miscellaneous. You know me, I'll throw all the chicken in there. Okay, so it doesn't seem like you can move any chickens over. That's weird though. Animals. Cows, pigs. No. And sheep. That one is only for that. So now we can't do that. I'll have to buy. Okay. I'm not going to mass buy then. What we'll do is we'll buy 15s here. Yeah? 
young ones. Okay, let's get 50 because they, they do reproduce quite quick. So that's bought. And then I'm just going to get one rooster, not 50. Okay, there we go. And we've got more chickens. So if we go into our chicken menu, we'll see there that in our animal menu, not our chicken menu, we'll see that the feed trough should be quite full. I think this is the small one. Yeah, that's the small one. That's the large one. It's a pity I can't move any of these around. Because here we're full on this chicken coop. And here we are. Okay, there we're full. There we've got 51. They should reproduce quite quickly. These are still at the age of 11 months, 4 months, 2 months. Not bad at all. But yeah. Our chickens are sorted out now. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to all the eggs once all of these have reproduced and we're running 300 here, 300 there. What is the total? Yeah, 360. Wow. Okay, that should reach 360 quite quick because this one overnight just jumped and when I looked again it was full. So let's whiz over to this tractor here. Yeah? Let's go look. Still nothing on sale. So forage wagons to lease one. I hope. I don't need something huge. This all 16,023. What is the lease on this? 2,300. I think we're going to lease this one. I mean it holds 23,000 liters. Yeah, let's lease this one. So we've leased that unit. Doesn't require a lot of horsepower, so wait, let's just close the cover up there. We'll need to move this trailer out of the way because once I come in hot, there's nothing stopping me. Okay, that can stay there. Let's get to town quickly. Pick up our forage wagon. Is no traffic coming? Let's get on the road again. So we'll do that quick. There's no traffic coming in. So what we'll do is we'll collect all the forage. Hopefully we can put all the straw within the silo. If we can, that will be a bonus. Yikes, time is really moving. It's 12.20 already and we're sitting on 8,073 pounds. I wonder if any of the mod creators can create a map based from South Africa. We have a load of farms in South Africa and yet there is no map for South Africa. It's on the indicator show coming in. There is no maps anywhere on any farming game where there is a field from South Africa. That will be neat. if they can create a map I mean we've got a ton of farms in the free state which will be nice you pronounce it or spell it the way you say it free state F-R-E-E -E state that will be nice So I'm going to start with this one here. 
So let's lower this pickup down. Lower that. Switch that on. Let's just do a little test. Okay, we've got 148 liters in there. Let's just see if we can put it in our silo. I hope we can, really. Nope. Straw is not accepted here. Unless... Because now I need to make my money back for this. We're still going to do a few harvests. So let's go see what the price of straw is at the moment. Where is straw at? Do, do, do. There. It's currently going for 102. Let's pick it up and go sell everything. Because now I've made a bit of a blunder. I can't put it in there and we've already leased this unit. And I'm not going to go do the bailing of all of this now as it stands. It's going to take a little bit of work. But let's get this picked up. It's magnificent how it comes in. We don't have a loft, we don't have a st st straw storage place. So, yeah. That's how it's gonna be. We're gonna sell all of this off to help us pay for the loan, maybe. Possibly. Well, we've got chickens going now, and we've got the straw coming in, hot and heavy. Forty percent capacity already. Which is good. Let's just hope the biomass heating plant is not very far away. Does seem like it. Okay, so let's get cracking with the straw. Okay, so we're at the biomass heating store now. We're driving up to it. I just want to see where we need to pull in. Okay, there. I want to see if this is going to be worth it. If not, then I'll cancel this forage wagon, send it back, and we just get a baler. Okay, so let's start selling. We're standing on 8,000 pounds. Mm. 2,355 pounds. I honestly don't think it's worth it. That's my personal opinion. 
I honestly think it's really not worth it. It it doesn't make sense to me now personally to sell all that straw off and we're gonna need it going down the line. Maybe we're not gonna need it, I don't know. It's hard to tell, but one thing is for certain, this poor tractor is struggling a bit, especially uphill. So what I think I'll do is I'll connect the John Deere to this and clean up with the John Deere that's the path to the castle though. So yeah, I think we're gonna do, maybe it's worth it, I don't know. Are we planning on doing cows? I don't know. Uh, we should be planning on doing cows. Unless I just hire a baler and get it over and done with. We lease one, we bail everything and see where it goes from there. I mean, we're back on 10,000 pounds, which I understand we need the money. But we also need to un oh Schaefer D now that's gonna leave a dent. What we also need to understand is I sh could potentially need the straw down the line. So I think we're gonna return this least unit. And potentially go for something else like a baler. Just that little uphill, and it's already. Let's turn right here to the vehicle workshop, or well not to the vehicle shop. I'm going to return this lease. And, yeah. Can you return it from the screen here? Repay three dollars. Return. Yeah. So that's gone. Unfortunately, that did not work for us. A bailer, we need something big. Like that. 245 horsepower. How much is the lease on it? Lease 7,000. Yeah, let's get it. Why not? I mean, where is it now? It is, it is quite big. I took the chrome. I want to test this out. Everybody's been saying the chrome is such a lovely unit to have. Put our indicators on. Coming back in traffic. Obviously I'll have to use the... John Deere to pull this. I'm just using the Macy Ferguson now just to get it to where we need to be. 12 form. 39 kilometers an hour. It struggles to get to that 39. Indicators on. As you can see that it is struggling but it's understandable so What's nice about this baler is you don't have to stop and offload, you just keep on cracking at it. So, indicator on. Okay, so we're done with the Massey Ferguson for now. Uncouple from that. Or detach. Depends how you want to say it. Let's just reverse it more properly. just need to see something hours wise 
this one's got 32 hours on it which is not that bad which one did we climb out of now 32 hours 39 so the one with 32 we're gonna use you first oh listen to the beast this is ooh, such a nice tract. I nearly crashed our new tractor. Golly. Look at that. Okay. Unfold that unit. Now we're going to be doing serious bales here. Lower the pickup. Switch that on. Let's see this thing go to work, baby. It's a pity it doesn't have like a wide-ish pickup on it. <coughs> I mean, it does pick up nicely, but... Okay, switch that off. Wait a second. Let's go into help menu. I nearly made a mistake now. The saving feature. I must set it to save like every one hour or something. Let's go there. Saving interval. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to leave it there. No problem. Okay, fold baler, left pickup channel baler. Change bale size. R3, 240. That's what I wanted. 240. Thank you. Now oh, we don't need that screen anymore. Okay, let's get this JD rolling, baby. And he's picking up. That's so nice. How many liters going? It should be like six or eight thousand or something. The leftover little pieces, I'll come and gather that as soon as I in there again like this wide pieces here I know there will be a little bit of left OVs this is the nice thing about this baler we really want to buy ourselves one of these big balers because what I enjoy about it is it just chucks out the bales automatically that's what I love and you can put an additive insert the bale comes out I think as silage I'm not 100% sure I'll have to look into that for you also the previous episode was way short there comes our first bale sticking its head out there oh and I'm driving skew there I'm showing you the bale our previous episode was tremendously short I do know that but don't stress about it I'll make up for it in the next few videos there wasn't much to do then so yeah that's where we went off to We're getting this done. Okay, so let me get this done and I'll see you in a second. Sorry guys, I just had to pop up to make myself some coffee, so let's get this done
Okay, so we're hitting the last row. Jeepers, what a bailing session. That was a bit rough, but wasn't too bad though. Hopefully we can get to 90% by the end of that, so that we can kick out the last bail. That would be nice, that would be nice, but it is fine. So... How do we pick out the last bail? Let me just put on the health control quickly. Halfway through I realized the time zone or the time scale was incorrect, so I've increased that quickly. What did I do now? Okay. Full bail now. Unload. Alright, there's luck. 409 liters left just before I do that I just want to see I saw some pieces lying around here somewhere just to clean up our yard a little bit all the loose pieces here that's on our paving here I'm going to clean it up. Okay, that's it. Let's fill up this baler. The noise you hear in the background is my dogs busy playing with one another on the couch. So that baler really helped us a lot. We're going to go into our normal menu and return the baler quickly. Is there any new vehicles? No, that least unit we can return. We're not going to need it at the moment. So, how many bales did we actually do? Where's our... 28 bales. Now, those are 9,000 litre bales. Those are 9,000 litres, which is good. <laughs> There's a lot of bales all over the place, so I'll have to go get the Macy Ferguson quickly, the Macy Ferguson, so that we can get that picked up in the next episode, because what I want to do as well, let's check quickly before I start making my plans here. Just now I'll make the plans and it does not work out according to what we need. I want to hook on to our cedar here quickly. We can do oat, canola, soybean, sorghum. Okay, so this unit we can't do sunflower with, so we'll have to lease a unit for the sunflower. So I think. That might possibly it be it for this episode. So what I want to do is I will need to sell those bales right there. Then move that out of there, move that out of there. 28 bales, stick them into here so that we've got more space. So yeah, I'm thinking about it and I think that's going to be it for this episode just before we go off some flower 
we already paused the planting time for it we paused the planting time for everything if I plant anything there now I can't harvest it and plant some flower in the same time zone I want to bump up on the sunflower because I need to buy a the production chain for it I don't know what's wrong with my speech now I'm like uh, uh. in any case I'm not going to plant anything so that gives us enough time to cultivate the field as we see fit we can land roller do everything we need to obviously the land rolling we can only do once the sunflower seeds has been planted so hopefully by the time we eat that we'll have enough money to buy a planter a planter does sunflower etc a seeder does your normal crops so i'm gonna look into that so until then i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have Give the video a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you want to leave a comment, please feel free to do so. If you want to share this video, please be my guest. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheerios.